Hey everybody, out here in the driveway painting machinery because uh, I can't dance that well. So instead of that, I paint. So well, I'm putting a little bit of um, uh, paint on the radial drill here. Let's have a look at that. All right, that's paint. That's a radial drill press. I think I got it all in. <laughs> I hope you're all doing great today. The weather's going to get hot, so I'm going to slap a little bit of primer on this thing as quick as I can. And then Chloe and I will go inside and uh, drink iced tea or something like that. Okay, here we go. Let's get a little bit of paint on this down here. Oh, yeah. Now, this paint's been a long time coming. Just a long time. I got a little, these are the only tags I left on here. They're so tiny, I thought I'd damage them, so I'm just going to mask them off. That uh, just tells you the direction of this uh, lever here up and down for the, for the head. Uh, let's get a little pen around there. I'll have to come back around and get that little bit of spillover off. And get around here. Oh, that's looking good. I like it. Yeah. So, if you're going to paint machines, it's really a good idea to buy new paint. It's really hard to put the old paint back on. Even if you clean it. <laughs> I went and knocked over a bit of paint there. Okay, that's not good. We'll get that fixed. There we go. It wasn't very much. Not very much. That's why I put it in this uh, little bucket thing here, because, uh, you know, I'll knock a whole can over. I definitely will. Now, the object here... It's just to get the paint on, this first coat of uh, primer. And it, and it doesn't have to really be smooth, because I go over it and sand it. And I just want to get it into uh, these places here that uh, the filler took care of. See, that's the place there I'm going to probably put a little bit of Bondo or that glazing compound. <laughs> I'm not very good at this, but I tell you what, once they're painted, they look just like machine tools. They really do. Okay. Especially once you start using them, you know, you start getting them dirty and chipping them and stuff like that. Then, then you wipe them down with kerosene uh, to make them look good like my machines. Okay. Let's get this on. Uh, There's just too many caught on YouTube with dull machines. <laughs> we, ha we had an instructor at the community college here. He was a Navy guy. And those machines, he wanted those machines shiny. And he also grouted them to the floor. You don't see that much anymore. Yeah, there we go. Just kind of get that on there like that. Look, there's still orange paint under there. Hang on, paint my finger. <laughs> Just dab that in there. There we go. A little more on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very hard uh, really to do this. You see, you get your fingers behind that sponge brush 
and kind of squish it into those really rough areas. Like I said, I'm going to come over this. I'm going to let it harden. And this is that Case International Harvester Primer. And it's got a, a, a special uh, solvent you have to buy for it. And I don't know what the consistency of the paint is, I, you know, or what it really is. But this primer really has a very strong odor. It's real strong. And it really sticks on. I wiped this down with uh, Napa after wiping it up with mineral spirits. Now, down here, I'm going to uh, uh, just go ahead and paint these bolt heads over, but I'm going to pull them out one by one and clean them out, clean them off after this thing is uh, painted. You can trim um, the machine using these uh, bolts here. I want to check trim on it. Then check the table trim to the machine. Uh, the top of this table here, I got it cranked over with the vise on it, um, has been uh, machined. They uh, fixed, fixed a whole bunch of uh, uh, drilled holes with nickel weld but I don't think that's the table that uh, had been with this machine I can kind of see an outline that there was another table on this at one time probably the original t uh, table from uh, Morris Yeah, it looks kind of mottled, but see, I'll go over it again. I'll just scuff it lightly and go over it again. And uh, get that uh, kind of built up on there. Then I can, uh, you know, kind of get some of this a little bit smoother. I'm, I'm just not overly concerned. I think the most important thing is to get the machine up and going. Let's see how this looks down here. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a while. You see, I've, I've, I've got a bunch of paint on the axles in here, but it, it's, a, it's up there, um, up in the sun, it's getting too hot, so. I'm just going to squeeze the rest of the paint here. I didn't spill. <laughs> I didn't spill very much, but it is starting to get a little bit warm and the paint dries a little too quick. Yeah. Just an awful lot like that. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm just about out. Oh, a little bit more here. Let's get some uh, down into this uh, rough spots here. Get a little primer on it, then the filler stick will stick to the primer. And I'm going to put a little filler in it, you know, not have those big ugly cracks of dirt swept up. Yeah. Get that right around the corner there. Go around the bend. Yeah. Let's see how much more we got in there. Very much. Won't get it all. 
and come around here. Yeah. Look at that the big old hole there. Yeah. Make sure it gets on there good. Okay. Oh. Well, that's all she wrote for that much paint. And I tell you, it's just getting too hot. And I'm going to get back on it this evening. So you guys have a great Sunday. Okay, bye-bye.